Hello everyone and welcome to my final video on the laws of indices where I'm going to have a look at old exam questions. So at this point you can see a question up on the screen 27 times 3 to the power 3 over 2 uh, uh, equals 3 to the power our p work out the value of p. So I'm going to give you a moment to have a look at that and I will then start going through the answers on the next slide. Okay, let's go through it. So to work out the value of P we first need to get everything in terms of the base power which is 3 and we should know that 27 is 3 to the power 3. So the question would then become what 3 to the power 3 times 3 to the 3 over 2. Then you would use the first law, the addition law, because you're timesing the bases of 3 together and thus adding the index. So you would get 3 to the 3 plus 3 over 2 which equals 9 over 2 and 9 over 2 is 4.5. So the value of P is 4.5 but you're probably wondering, well, how did I get this value of 9? Well, that is everything to do with the value of what this 3 is. So 3 here is 6 over 2. Simple. 6 divided by 2 is 3. And then if I add the 6 and the 3 together, that will give me 9. It's basic fractional conversion. Okay, you need to know that 6 over 2 equals 3. You need to know that 1 over 1 is 1. Uh, and you need to know that 4 over 2 is 2. So, in some respects, these are top heavy fractions, but they're cancelable in the respect that when you do them they cancel to whole numbers as, um, as your answer. So let me now get um, a rubber, there we go, and uh, we will move on for those. So yes I would suggest review of fractions if you don't quite get what's gone on there but it is straightforward I promise. Here's one that I came up across recently. Solve for x, 3 to the power x divided by 9 to the 3 plus x equals 81. So again, if you want to pause the video and have a go at these, please feel free, be my guest, and we will go through it momentarily. Right, let's move on and go through it. So here's the question from the previous slide. 3 to the x divided by 9 over 3, sorry, divided by 9 to the power 3 plus x equals 81. So the first thing you want to do is get everything in terms of the same base power. That is to say that 9 is equal to 3 squared and 81 is equal to 3 to the power 4. And that's what I do for the second line here. Okay, so you can see I've replaced the 9 and the 81 with 3 squared and 3 to the 4. Next, I'm going to use the power of a power law, which is the third law, which says that I can multiply the powers when I raise a power to a power. And you can see what's going on here. I'm doing this 2 multiplied by the 3 plus x, which will give me. 2 open brackets 3 plus x close brackets okay so we're making progress on this it might not seem like it but we are this is the same uh, step from the previous slide but we're now going to use the subtraction law so you can see that we're dividing powers of 3 here 3 to the x divided by 3 to the 2 open brackets 3 plus x means that we can subtract those indices. 
giving us on a single line 3 to the x minus 2 open brackets 3 plus x close brackets equals 3 to the 4. So you can get down to this line just by using the powers, um, the, the, the indice laws which I've covered in the previous eight videos. Um, this next part is something that I haven't covered. Um, you can remove the base. If you have got three to the something and that equals three to the something else, you can get rid of the threes and just look at the indexes. So that will give me x minus two to the three plus x equals four. A very similar thing happens with logs if you go on to do it with uh, A level, but um, it's called old removing the base and just equating indices there. So we then can do our expansion. So negative two times three will give negative six and negative two times x will give negative two x. Um, x, take away two x will be minus x, minus six from the previous line equals four. Then I can add six on both sides. gives me minus x equals 10 and lastly but by no means least if I times by minus 1 on both sides I will get my answer that x is equal to minus 10. So there's a lot more algebra manipulation there that's the kind of thing you see on a higher tier paper but it's doable using the laws of indices that we've covered thus far. One more example, and that's from the November 2019 paper, so a really recent one. Given that 9 to the negative 1 half equals 27 to the power of 1 quarter divided by 3 to the x plus 1, find the value of x. So if you'd like to have a go at this, vid um, this question, I'll give you a couple of moments before I um, move on, so pause it and have a go. Right, okay, let's move on and go through this. So the first thing you've got to do is you've got to try and get everything in terms of the same base number. So you should recognize that 3, 9 and 27 are all powers of 3. 3 being 3 to the 1, 9 being 3 squared and 27 being um, 3 to the 3. Um, but we're going to use first and foremost um, the um, eighth law for negative indices. x to the negative n equals 1 over x to the n. So you can see just to the right of that that 9 to the negative 1 half is equal to 1 over 9 to the half. That gets rid of the minus by reciprocating the, uh, in, uh, the indice. And then the denominator denotes the root. So we're looking for a square root here of 9, and the square root of 9 is 3, giving the answer of a third. Uh, then we look at the 27. We should know that 27 is 3 cubed. So 27 to the 1 quarter is 3 cubed to the power 1 quarter, which is 3 to the power 3 quarters. Okay. So you should be able to reduce the 9 and the 27 to a third, and 3 to the 3 quarters. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to use the power of a power law. Um, yes, sorry, the power of the power law is used in here to get to here. You're timesing the 3 by 1 quarter to get 3 quarters. Okay, let's move on. So here's the question again, 9 to the minus a half, 27 to the quarter, divided by 3x to the 3 to the x plus 1. I've found the third and three to the three quarters, which I can put in now in place of the nine and the 27. Next thing I have to do is do a little bit of manipulation on the third. The third can be transformed back to an index 
by using the eighth law again, which will give me three to the power minus one, uh, as a third is a reciprocal of three, equals three to the three quarters divided by three to the x plus one. And this is the form you should be able to get into using your index law manipulation. Okay, straightforward. If you can get down to that, you will um, get some marks. Let's move on and just finish this off now. Three to the negative one is equal to three to the three quarters divided by three to the x plus one. So if we use the second law, the subtraction law, where we divide the threes, we're going to subtract the powers, will give me three to the minus one is three to the three quarters minus x plus one. Working that out, three quarters here, subtract one is negative one quarter. And you're also taking away x, which is this here. Okay, so I've now got three to the minus one is three to the minus one quarter minus x. Again, now that it's in this form, and I'll just wipe that out for a second. Now that it looks like this, you've got the base the same and different powers you can equate the powers by removing the base, which will give you minus one equals minus one quarter minus x. So there's an awful lot of minuses there in that line. I want to get rid of them, so I'm going to times everything by minus one. Gives me positive one is one quarter plus x. And then if I subtract a quarter on both sides, if I take a quarter off here, and I take a quarter off here. One minus a quarter is three quarters, and a quarter to take away a quarter is just going to give x. So the answer here for x is three quarters. Those are the kind of things that you're going to need to be able to do when you um, approach these questions on your exam. Um, again, it's, it is down to practice, so do as many past questions as you possibly can. Um, as there will always be something new in terms of the manipulation here um, for your powers. But if you know the eight laws, you'll have the tools to deal with these problems. Hi everyone, this is a friendly reminder to like, subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to stay tuned for future videos on this channel. I also welcome constructive comments in the box below and you can gain access to any of my teaching resources through the link above. If you'd like to support me through donation, you can either go to paypal.me slash Jonathan Kipping or patreon.com forward slash Jonathan Kipping. Stay tuned and look forward to future videos.